here is an IBM Selectric 2 typewriter. This is the last of the Selectric 2's that I've got up here that needed to be repaired. The first problem with it was that the motor would not come on and I tracked that back to a bad power switch. Right now I've just got the power cord hooked up uh, directly to the motor with some uh, wire nuts. I need to try to see what might work best as far as a power switch for it. Maybe a micro switch or something that I can put in there. But now I've just got it set up so it would need to be controlled with an external switch like from a power strip. The next problem I had to solve was this spring that controls the carrier return. This spring here that goes around this clutch. I had taken the spring off of this one to repair a Selectric uh, 3 which had a bad spring because at the time this one had so many problems. Motor wouldn't come on and so I thought it was in worse shape so I took the spring off of it but I was able to get this spring here at the hardware store and it fit in there just fine and it seems to make it work like it should. The final problem with it was that this this uh, lever here was jammed, this silver one here, and this silver lever is what makes the typing mechanism operate. All of the keys have a contact, a mechanical contact, which presses down on them. These levers here are to encode data into the tilt-rotate mechanism. You can see that different keys have different different projections on them, so different combinations of uh, levers get pushed down depending on what key it is. And then those levers connect to these levers here, this group of five levers, and this encodes data into this mechanism here, this tilt-rotate mechanism. And Depending on what combination of levers is pulled out, that depends how the element tilts and rotates. I've been trying to fix problems with this on the uh, Memory 100 typewriter and it's a modified Selectric typewriter which has solenoids to pull these levers in the appropriate combinations so that it can play back data from, uh, from a computer. But the problem with this was that this lever here was jammed and so you wouldn't get any typing action when keys were pressed down. They just acted like there was no power. So I lubricated the uh, ends of that shaft and I was able to then get it to work. I first had to figure out that that's the shaft that, that controlled that function. And I think in other models it may be, or other uh, examples of selectric typewriters that may be a different color. This particular one is a little bit smaller than the usual size and it's colored uh, silver but in other ones I've seen it cover, colored black. But you'll notice that when this is pressed down with the screwdriver the mechanism uh, starts to operate and so now when keys are pressed keys are pressed it, it works like it ought to. And this one is a real clean machine. Not much old grease in it and it seems to work real well. So I'll put it back together now and I can give a demonstration of the performance of it working.